Today we're visiting Skenfrith Castle. It's uncertain who exactly had this castle built, or precisely when, but it's suspected to be William Fitz Osborne, the Earl of Hereford, in the early 12th century to protect the route from Wales into Hereford. Or perhaps Professor Plum in the library with a lead pipe. <laughs> <laughs> the castle was sistered up with White Castle and Grosmont Castle by King Stephen, not to be confused with Stephen King, in order to bring the castles back into control of the crown when a major Welsh rebellion took place in 1135. Skenfrith has changed hands a lot over the centuries, sometimes being owned by the same family several times. Eventually, a lawyer called Harold Sands carried out some conservation on the place and then gave it to the National Trust. Today, it's under the care of Cadu. The three castles form a popular route for walkers and Skenfrith has also appeared in an episode of Doctor Who with Matt Smith. At first glance, it looks like the ideal place to spend an afternoon having a picnic because it's got this nice green lawn and the ruins look like a good place to kind of have a nose round. So let's go exploring. So I'm standing in the Great Tower and this was an all-purpose building because it was not only a residence but it was the main stronghold. So up there would have been archers and accommodation and we are standing in the glorious basement but you can see the holes in the walls where the beams would have been to support the ceilings and the roofs so you've got at least two levels here. In fact, the entrance where you can see behind me is obviously destroyed, robbed out, I don't know which, but you can see the height of it, and that was because there was a wooden walkway that went up to the first floor, which is why the top of that doorway is so high up there. Skenfrith is something of a rarity in that it's a nice little hamlet, village, one of those things, with a castle and a river. This is the River Mono that I'm sitting next to here. In fact, this is the border between England and Wales, which is why the castle was here in the first place. The castle was built to defend the border. The castle is free to enter, so one of the nice things about it seems to be that the village have sort of taken it as their own. It's a playground. I mean, while we've been filming here, it's been full of kids running around having a whale of a time and they really do seem to be you know, enjoying it. And can you imagine anything better than growing up in a place that has its own river and they do come and swim here and a castle to play in? So you come through that door there and step out into this lovely, lovely little piece of woodland and you can walk around the edge of the castle right next to the river for a little ways and it's very peaceful. It's a bit like the secret garden in a way because <laughs> at the minute nobody else is here and it feels like only I know about it but I know the locals do come down here quite a bit because there is a wild swimming point nearby. But it is beautiful because you get views like this. So what did you think of Skenfrith Castle? I like it. I, I mean, I know I like a lot of castles, but this tiny little village that kind of surrounds the castle, that was built around it, 
the kids from the village come and use this as a playground and it's great because they're running around and they're playing tag and catch the flag I think was another game I saw and, and they're just having a whale of a time and I'm kind of jealous really because I think this would have been a fantastic place to grow up yeah yeah it would have been I think yeah I mean, who or, can say or, that they could grow up, they had a proper castle to yes, play in as a kid? or alternatively just not grow up. Yes. <laughs> Boy, who says you have to grow well, up? Well, really? indeed. I don't think we have. I quite like it because it's kind of a lot of different things. So it's the playground, it's a ruin, it's a castle. It was a residence, but go through just a little doorway and you can walk by the river and walk through some woods. It has a lot to offer, doesn't it? It does. It certainly does. It's not the biggest of places. No, it's not a huge castle. It's not one of those ones that you're in there and kind of turning around corners and going, ooh, there's more of it, and ooh, there's more of it. There, no. it's, it's all fairly obvious what's here. But it's got everything that you, you want. It's got a good curtain wall that's all, all pretty much intact. You've got uh, a really good tower, which is again pretty much intact. And, and it's mm. it's got a lot going for it. It's got and what you need. It has. And it's got an apple tree. I don't know whether they're edible. I think it's a good picnic site. I would and, say so, yes. And we saw today there was a group of people coming down to paint. So there's that. Yeah. I mean, I would imagine that, yeah, photography, painting, you know, the, the, the occasional idiot that makes videos. I, mm. I can't imagine why anybody would do that. No. See you next time. TTFN.